Hey guys, Mr. Astro One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. All right, so last time I was uh, completely wrong about me dreading this next part, and I already have to sneeze, so let's ignore that. Um, but right now we are gonna go get the last um, bean star piece. But first, there's a few things I want to get out of the way with first. Um, if we come up here, now that we have the Thunder Hand, I could have done this earlier, but now we have ourselves a little unique cave to get through. This can be a little confusing, but <laughs> um, you need to make your way through here but by hitting these blocks, and it can be very confusing because you need um, to do this in a very specific way. Like, you need to make sure both Mario and Luigi are on the blocks, and you hit both the blocks at the same time, but you have to maneuver completely different for each one. Now I gotta get try to get Luigi over here. Come on. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh wait. There we go. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I had a much harder time doing that, like, off screen. But we did in about a minute, so that's not too shabby. If you come over here, though, congratulations. We get ourselves a pair of wool trousers. Now, if we go into our menu, we'll see if the wool trousers bring down our defense down by, like, how many points is that? Eight points? But you get HP auto gain. I want to put that on right now. The HP gain, not a huge priority, especially since we lose the defense too, but it helps. Might as well put it on. And I put it on Luigi for a very specific reason, and I also took off the Game Boy Horror SP for another reason, and you will see why later this episode, if I can maneuver well enough. Okay, so what we gotta do for this one, there's actually one more cave we can get to before we're gonna do the Beanstar piece. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay. Wanna climb up here. Yeah, you have to do some maneuvering around to get to this one, but climb through here, get on top, and now we're gonna head west. And do yourself a favor and don't fall off, because you'll have to do this over again. We're gonna spin here, spin over here, spin over here, and over here. And last but not least, you need to move this boost statue, so let's do this. Bam. Alright. You'll see there's a little crack in the wall over there. Well, all we need is a good old-fashioned hammer, and bam. Now for this one, I believe, we, yeah, we need Mini Mario. And this is actually a somewhat hard platforming part, if you're not careful. Uh, we got these little skinny platforms, which make it really easy to fall. Jump over. Don't rush through this, there really is no hurry. It's not timed, otherwise you would need to move, but this isn't timed, so... Feel free to take as long as you wish. And we have like a double fireball thing. I don't, those aren't even fireballs, they're just like electricity or something. And we get the iron pants. <laughs> iron pants. Now, the iron pants, if you look at them real, real, like, real quick, they increase your defense by 30 points, which would be really good. But you see down there in like a, a side effect heavy G, what that does is it takes longer for Mario to move, and it also um, puts weight on him, and for those who don't know what that means, um, whenever weight is put on a character, they jump. They, when they jump, they fall down faster, so it's harder to time, so I'm gonna ignore it, not gonna put that on, but use it if you want. Because right now we gotta knock down this Koopa. Get out of my way! Yeah, this is the uh, path to the next Beanstar piece. It will be ours! Come here! What the? Never seen this place before. It's a theater. And there's the Beanstar! And who are these guys? Get over here, we need that. Hmm? Guys, we need that Beanstar. We don't know who you are, but... What's with you two? You can't just waltz up and start talking to my master. You weasels, look at you. There's no doubt in my mind that you've come looking for... Actually, I have plenty of money. <laughs> I'm not poor in this run. Well, that's kind of rude. We need that. Yeah, bust in the four pieces, and you have one of them. You lie! What the? Um... Okay. <laughs> Whoa! He just knocked him over. Silence, you twit. That's a reference to Yoshi's story, I think. No. Oh my god, you look just like that guy from earlier, Bubbles. No, you look exactly like that guy with the Chocola monster, remember back then? 
Yeah, the legendary soda maker. What? You're who? What? Younger brother. Are you gonna pull some shit on us? Bottle. Haha, ha, very funny. Younger brother of the legendary soda maker. Well, isn't that just great? Yoshi fan club. Wait, there's Yoshis in this game? This Yoshi was... This Yo the, ugh, This theater was designed by a Yoshi-loving chap specifically for the enjoyment of the Yoshis. But we need that Beanstar piece! It's like the third time I said it. Oh, we have to... Oh, we'll decorate the sign, sure. What do you want? Of course, fine. I suppose I can decorate the sign with something else and give the sparkly thing to you. Alright. That's, that sounds simple enough. Fair enough. You mustn't, Master. You mustn't. Yeah, kick his ass again. Don't listen to him. Give us the bean star. You know what you're doing. You want to save the world, don't you? However, oh, great. What's the condition? What? You must find... S oh, well, what can we use? Neon eggs? What do you mean, neon eggs? Seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs, and he will take that. Can never. Oh wait, what? We can't find the neon eggs anymore. Uh, okay, this is getting kind of old now. It was funny the first time and kind of the second time, but now not really. You know what? We need that. When Yoshi's eat a particular kind of food, they lay neon eggs. Oh, so the Yoshi's are hungry. Okay. So we need to go feed them, but we need everybody's happy, right? Uh, sure. Is he gonna whack him in the upside of the head again? You two, don't just stand there. They're staring. Thank my master. Okay. Thank you, master. We gotta go find the neon eggs. And if you guys would shut up, I would go get them. Basically, there's several kinds of neon eggs in the Bean Bean Kingdom, and the Yo only the Yoshis can lay them. And you see, like, a Yoshi right here? Like, the ones with them, like, tongue sticking out and everything, those are the Yoshis that are hungry. And wait a minute. Let's look over here. Kirby Story, Wario, MNL. Hmm, that looks weird. Could it be potential for Mario and Luigi Pals' inside story? Because it kind of looks similar to that. Legend of Starfy. Or Staffy? What? I thought it was Starfy. You know, from like Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It's like Kirby, Super, like Kirby Superstar, Wario. Like, what is it? WarioWare. Mario and Luigi, at the time, Superstar Saga, and Starfy, which, unless you know about Nintendo of Japan, you would have no idea, aside from Brawl. Okay. Well, we gotta talk to this guy. Indeed, I am the architect who designed this very theater. Fava, okay. So, you're gonna tell us about the Neon Eggs? Yeah. Um, well, I already know because I played this game several times. Well, but in reality... Old man who loves neon eggs, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, it's like these little awkward parts where the Mario and Luigi are like, okay. What? You want to know what food makes? Wait. Uh, I can't talk. What you want? What? You want to know what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs? Well, that'd be bean fruits, perhaps. Well, where can we find bean fruits? Native to the Bean Bean Kingdom. They grow underground. Okay. Ah. First, take the bean fruit out of the ground. Then feed the bean fruit to the- Okay, that sounds simple enough. And then they poop out eggs. Isn't that great? Okay, that's a process. And so we need to find several bean fruits throughout the area. I've never even found a single neon egg in my life. Well, that sucks. Very well. However, the knowledge I've gained after much collecting and searching is not exact. So, he's gonna tell us where the bean fruits are? Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll do it, just give us the locations. Yeah, we're gonna find them and feed all the Yoshis. So tell us then. Tell us the location of the bean fruits or I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, okay. And yeah, they're pretty much... And don't worry, that one on the far right is not in the bean... And not in Teehee Valley. We're not gonna go that far. Go to the areas marked on your spots. Yada, yada, yada. You get the, uh, you get the picture. We get it. Now, I was kind of an idiot last time when I said I was dreading this next part, when I test run this and I was like, oh, you actually get a map for this? Because last, for some reason, I forgot that they gave you a map, and I thought it was going to be really hard to find all these without my guide, but I was wrong.
But I will have to warn you guys, I'm gonna switch to my map a lot, so yeah, just take that in mind. Um, eh. no, leave me alone. Aw, oh, Luigi. Oh, come off it. Okay, and now if I don't get interrupted again, where is that pipe from earlier? I know it's around here somewhere. It's not that way. Um, let's go... not that way. Um, yeah. You know what, I've decided these... I'm just gonna say right now, I'm gonna put back on those plaid trousers because you only regain 2 HP at a time and Mario and Luigi both have 64 health. Um, if I can move fast enough, but knowing my luck with these guys, it's not gonna happen, I might be able to get this really quickly. Come on. There it is. That is the first bean fruit of the area. Now, what I'm actually gonna do... Mario! What I'm actually gonna do is... Something that I don't think... What? How was that a back attack? Oh, wait. Are we fighting this guy now? Okay, I'll just kill him and get out of here. But yeah, I really hate that. That's like a really stupid thing regarding that enemy, that you can just jump into him and it counts as a back attack. I really hate that. This, and it only happens when the back character gets hit, so it's kind of stupid the way they did that. But over here is a place we've actually never gone to before, and you'll notice several little beans, like, sprouts over here. Um, you don't need to water them all. In fact, some you don't even need to water at all. But what we need to do is get Mario with water again, and you need to use the electrical hand, the thunder hand, and you'll spit the water out, and it'll sprout like that. And... I'm actually, you know, for, just for the sake of consistency, I'm actually gonna do all these, even though I really don't need to. You don't get any reward for this. Well, you kinda do, but that old man won't give you anything for this, because that's what I would think. Because he says that I used to love, like, doing this thing where you, um, like, do something, like, use your hands and push do something with, the, with their friend's bags and they'll like spit water all over the place or something like that. But no, you get you don't get anything for it. Okay, only two more to go and I bet this is really entertaining to watch, isn't it? Well guess what, it's about as much fun playing it as it is watching it, so don't feel bad. Or do feel bad because it's taking a while. Bam. And one more, which is really the only one I I just saved the best for last. Because, even though we haven't really seen it yet, there is a certain person up here who we want to talk to. Well, I want to talk to. I don't know about anyone else, but I would. So right here, yes, there is a Monty Mole up there. But you can also get um, a bean from this one and a bean from this one up there. I think, you, yeah, you can get a bean from this one too, but ultimately... All of them are chuckle beans, and I want to talk to this guy. So we get a green pepper, oh, a red pepper, and a green pepper. Sorry, I spoke out of order. And that's pretty much it. Not important at all, but, you know, it's there. Now, actually, just to make it more fitting, I'm going to save that bean fruit on the right there to last, and people who play this game, you know why I'm doing that. So we're going to head south now. Let's not get screwed over by the Lakitu if he comes back, which he did. If you do a, like a zigzag pattern, you should be able to outrun him. And I believe the bean fruit is on this screen, maybe? Yeah, it's right here. Whenever you see these weird patterns on in the ground, that, mean, that means there's a bean fruit there, trust me. Come on, there we go. Bean fruit number two. So much beans in the, in the freaking Bean Bean Kingdom. And again, that's, I guess, I guess that's how it got its name. Okay, more to the left. Hey, you didn't get me that time, did you, asshole? Anyway. So, more to the left. To the left, to the left. Um, yeah, there's one right here, but can we get it out of the ground? Yes, we can. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Number three. Now we're gonna go. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, what the hell! See again with the thing when you attack enemies from the air with the second character. I really, really hate that. I, I, 
like, do they fix that in the other games, or is it still programmed the same way? Because if it's still programmed the same way, that's kind of dickish. I mean, I have very little to complain about this game. Like, it's a great game, but there's just these little technicalities that really piss a player off. Like, and when, they, when they're familiar with the game like me. Okay, we got two more. And they're both north. Oh, and speaking of which, if I can, I'd like to show this off, but come over here. Oh, wait. No, not yet. We go with screen up first, I think. For some reason, this never crossed my... Oh, wait a minute. Did we do it? Oh, God, I forget. I'm really hoping we did it, but there's, like, a maze over here. Ah, get out of my way. Yeah, we couldn't break that rock before, and that's how you get this one right here. I said, this is how you get this one right here. And we got a bean fruit. Number five, I think. But whatever. I mean, I see over there, there's where that cave was from earlier. And coins! Get the coins, get the coins. Okay. But yeah, this really is not as bad as I remember it being. Maybe it's because I was under level and had to fight all the enemies again, but looking back on it, it's very easy. Um, where would the next one be? Where would the next one be? Um, to the right more? Wait, let's check our map. Oh, wow, I missed it by a landslide. Let's go back. What am I doing? Is it more on the side of this part, or is it one more down? It's probably one more down. And... I cannot find it. This is not good. I just got that one. See, I told you guys I'd be checking the screen a lot. Okay, it's the next one up. Get out of my way. Okay, there we go. I don't want to spend my time fighting the stupid things. So, where could it be? Oh, where could it be? Is it up to the north more? Is it on the left side? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. And then it makes number six. Or at least, that's, they said seven neon eggs, so unless that's a typo, that's number six. And now, if you have the, uh, what is it? If you have the um, Game Boy Horror SP, you can use it to get a rare item from a boss, actually, that we're about to go fight. But... If you want to get a better reward, I suggest you don't have it on, because you can get two completely different items based on what you have on you, and in all honesty, the one without the SP, despite it being a rare item, is not as good, so... Oops, I switched in the middle of going to the menu, so it's gonna be like that. But now we want to head over to the right here, we're back in like this little desert area, and before you ask, no we're not going back to the frickin' Tihi Valley, and actually, I, mean, I have something to point out really quick when the time comes, at least. Take in mind, we could have done half of this earlier, but it really wouldn't have made a big difference. And why did I jump off? What you're supposed to do is spin jump to that. Like so. And we need to knock this Koopa down. It's so, it's so odd how they have just these conveniently placed things that you need these, like, abilities for. I don't get it. Now, a little easter egg, well, I guess not really an easter egg, um, hang on, let's go here, um, if you go up, like, that's actually where the ship was originally, but what we want to do, um, I suggest that if you really want to put on the, um, oh, wait, can we put on the, wait, the Great Force, ah, uh, crap, wait, do we have the Great Force on? No, we have the bonus ring. Okay, Luigi has the rough, the Great Force, okay. Now, I suggest you don't have the Great Force for this, but to make this battle faster, I will. So let's just go on. I don't have the Game Boy or SP. Oh my god, it's a Piranha Plant. Don't you dare. No! Uh, he ate the freaking thing, and he loved it. Well, guess what? We need that. And it's drooling again, so step off. It is... <laughs> And even though it's not playing the boss music, it is time for the for, for another boss battle. This is Piranha Bean. What the hell? That thing looks really familiar. And eh, whatever. So let's just use our hand ability. This is the only thing that works, that really works against it, so be careful. Um, this guy, and if you can't tell already, that's, well, yeah. Um, and he can also shoot fireballs at you, but not that big of a deal. This guy has, like, no health. 
but he can take a while if you do not have the Great Force on, so just gonna let you guys know about that. And from the looks of things, this, this fight is actually going really well. That was it! That was it! I remember having a much harder time with that, but we get the Piranha Swing, and Luigi leveled up. I remember that fight taking a lot longer, I do not know why, but in my practice run it took forever. Maybe for one, I didn't have the Great Force on, and two, that guy has the ability, I don't know how, to get rid of my power boost, so I guess that's why, but damn, for that combination, that, we raped that boss. And, yeah. We get some four, we get four BP. Give us back that bean fruit. We shot something out. What the? Oh my goodness, is it who I think it is? Oh no! Prince Peasley has been shrinking the size of a midget. And that's what midgets look like in the Bean Bean Kingdom. You look, you. <laughs> my, my, how big you are, but you've kind of shrunk, my boy. Ew, why did I say my boy? Luigi, I'm too fond of this body size, sure. But how are we gonna return you to normal? Oh yeah, that's how we do it with Mario. <laughs> I'm a zero, no hero. But let's return Prince Beasley to normal size. Okay, okay, I won't mess up your hair. There we go, all better now? You asshole, why did you do that right when I helped you? <laughs> that's a shine. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. Wait, what you gonna give? Oh, nice! Thank you. That is our final bean fruit. We got the bean fruit. Number seven. And he's gonna ride off in his little thing again. Tally ho! I almost definitely be getting the next bean star piece. Um, I hate to burst your bubble, Prince Peasley, but fuck you. I hate to burst your bubble, but we kind of got the first three star pieces, or star bean pieces, rather. But yes, he has no idea that that's happened, because, of course, since he's been eaten for a while now, he's had no idea that we've collected the other three. And he has no idea that he just gave us access to the final bean star piece that we needed. And no, for doing this star first has no relevance that I'm aware of on how collecting the bean stars actually go. Um, because I don't think he actually shows up, you know, at all for any of the bean star pieces, even if you rescue him first, so whatever. Anyway, I believe we have all the bean star pieces now. Let me just double check our bean. F <sighs> We're about to get all the bean star pieces, but we got all the bean fruits. So now let's return to that guy and let's give these fruits to the Yoshis. Okay, so I was completely wrong about dreading this next part, but I am dreading the next part. I'm just gonna let you guys know that. Here, have this. Get better! Wow, fruit, thank you! Oh. Yassi! <laughs> Bean fruit is the best! And there's our first neon egg. Oh yeah! And we're gonna be doing that for every Yoshi pretty much, so yeah. Get used to seeing this for like the next minute or so. But they skip all the text for the next one, so that's nice. Now, is there one over here? Oh, there's two over here, okay. So I have this, and give us our neon egg. Thank you. You got the purple neon egg, yada yada. Now, there's actually some conspiracy theory, I might as well bring this up now, about this area in particular. Regarding to the ending, and, I, and you guys will notice it when it happens, but... It's kind of weird, the way they've decided to do this. I mean, it's kind of cool how they did it, but at the same time, doesn't really make any sense. Well, I guess it kind of does, but in a, in a way, it doesn't make sense. So there we go. Is there one more Yoshi? Because I think that's only six. There's probably one more Yoshi, like, down the line. Yeah, there is. And boom, last bean fruit for the last Yoshi. Yoshi! And the yellow neon egg, and I believe that is every one of them. Ah, laggy. So anyway, let us give these neon eggs to Bottle, or 
whatever his name is. Bubbles' little brother. Aww. Okay, here we go. Is that all the neon eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it is. And that guarantees us our next bean star. Ooh, wow, that actually looks nice. I might want to come here sometime. It's complete! Bonsai! <laughs> Bonsai Bill? No. And our final bean star piece. We've collected everything. You got the piece of the bean star? Now have all four pieces, and we gotta get back to the castle. And yeah, you can go do whatever. Thanks for the bean star piece. And now we have, I'll meet you guys back at the Bean Bean Castle to give a give back all those bean star pieces and we're gonna reform it. So I'll meet you guys there in just a minute. Hang on. Okay, and we are back, and now that we have all the bean star pieces, let's reform this baby. Boom! There it is. The bean star is revived. Do -do 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 <laughs> I love like that little part at the end. Finally back to normal. What? Lady Lima, what is it? Another message? Okay. And she has an orange one too. How many freaking Game Boy Advances does this, this guy, does this bitch have? You fools make fine scavengers. Now I want Ren Green to bring that bean star to me. Jokes and the worst area in the game. That little iceberg over there. That is where uh, we can't get through the sea by the sea floor, so we need to find another way out of there. And don't lose the beans on the way, Butterfingers. Okay, okay, bitch, I won't. It plans the <laughs> yeah. He, she, it, what? He, she, it, shit. I don't know. This just seems like some kind of trap, though. Relax, all of you. We can just give the fiend this. Oh, it's a fake bean star, but it kind of looks similar. Not really. I don't know. Take along the clothes for the princess. Oh, of course. That's why we should take them along because her clothes are ripped. How do you ride a suitcase like that? I always wanted to do that. You got Princess Peach's extra dress, and Luigi would take that. To, to go to get to jokes in, you have no choice but to travel above the ocean waves. But how the hell are we gonna do that? Go to the beach. You'll find a way to get there. I guess you're right. Surfing spot. You better not do that again. I swear to God. Wait, what? Forgot what? All oh, our coins. Yes, we're rich. We're rich. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We are set for money for the rest of the game. What? <gasps> what? 99 coins? Okay, 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 okay. Hold up. Hold the phone. Back at the beginning of the game, Tolstar, that little fucking fad green monster, whatever, he said that about 100 Mushroom Kingdom coins translated to 10 Bean Bean coins. There is no way in hell that... <laughs> A uh, hundred trillion Bean Bean coins should equal a hundred Mushroom Kingdom coins. We should have thousands upon thousands of Bean Bean coins if that is the actual case. But knowing this game, they can't really give us that much. Now can they? <sighs> Figures, right? Now, I'm just gonna let you guys know that we're actually not able to get to Joke's End, believe it or not, as we've been prepared for. Actually, there's one thing we need to do, and judging by the way I'm going... And judging by the way I'm going, you can probably tell what it is. So let's move on. I've been recording for half an hour. But yes, we must come all the way back here, and... Sledge and Hammer are here again. Hey, buds, what's up? Whoa, I was wondering who that might be, and it turns out it's us again. And the thing is, they just remade they just learned another hammer move, and it's time for us for them to reforge our hammers yet again. For the final time. Except this time it's much faster, and wow, the hammer's plated gold now. We got the ultra hammers. So, booyah. With those hammers, you can break any kind of rock, any kind at all. You've used all our talents making these hammers, may they serve you well. And we are going to put them to better use next time on Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. So, next time, guys, we begin the dreaded jokes and... 
But seriously, we don't begin it next time quite yet, but believe it or not, we actually have something to do before we go to Joke's End, and I promise that after that we will go to Joke's End, and we will do the, which many people consider to be the hardest part of the game, and for good reason, so... I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I am Miss Master One. See you guys next time. Goodbye.